It's for me, an invitation. To what, a picnic? I love yummy picnics. Oops, I'm hungry. Even better, it's an invitation for the Great Galactic Cook-Off. Only, it's tomorrow. That doesn't give you much time to come up with a dish. I need to find my recipe book, quick. <gasps> oh, my chef's hat. Wow, there are so many awesome recipes in here. Too many. How am I going to choose? Don't worry, we'll help you. We can even help with the cooking. And we can help with the tasting. You guys are the best. Okay, first, we need some fresh ingredients to inspire me to come up with an amazing dish. We can stop at the Galaxy Grocery. Yeah! But that's all the way on the other side of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. The sooner we find food, the sooner we can cook <gasps> and eat. <laughs> yeah! And that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to find some fresh ingredients to cook up the galaxy's greatest meal. What a delicious mission! Okay, let's see where you can go. I love the soccer planet, but I'm way too hungry to play right now. Stinky Fun Planet? Ew! No way we're cooking with stinky toe jam. Now that's a yummy looking planet. The food planet. Delicious choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. at the wonders, the fantabulous Foodomatic Machine. Foodomatic Machine? The Foodomatic Machine? I can't believe it! Uh, what's the Foodomatic Machine? It's only the most amazing cooking invention ever. The Foodomatic can cook any dish in the galaxy right here. We don't even need a recipe. We simply add ingredients and the Foodomatic will do the rest. But what kind of meal should we make? Ah, I know. We'll make Rob surprise. I'll eat some strawberries, a pinch of pineapple, a squeeze of squash, oh, and some spaghetti. Can't forget that. Mm, all this talk of food is making me even hungrier. Well, I can fix that. So now what? I don't know. Maybe we push another button, or say please, or, uh... uh... Ah! 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 What's wrong with that thing? I don't know. Introducing Rob's surprise. 
known as squash getty with pineapple fruity meatballs. Squash getty with pineapple fruity meatballs? Ew. Hmm. Wow, I'm stuffed. I ate so much my tummy trunk is full. Mm, it was mm, mm good. Emma, you haven't even touched your food yet. Was something wrong with your dish? Well, it, uh, it's too yucky. I can't eat it. It looks yucky and sounds yucky, so it must taste yucky. How do you know when you haven't even tried it? Because the ingredients in Rob's surprise don't go together. It can't possibly taste good. But Emma, it did taste good. Oh, I don't believe that for one robo second. <sighs> If we want to win, we'll need to make a simple, normal dish. One everyone will love. But we're running out of time. The cook-off is tomorrow. Wait! I know! Guys, help me put some apples and bananas in the machine. I'll tell you yeah. when to stop. Um... Okay. Oh! How about a little eggplant, Emma? Eggplant and apples, Rob? Eggplant is delicious! Trust me, Rob, it's yucky! Now let me handle this. I'm the chef! Hmm. You're supposed to be helping me! Is this too many bananas, Emma? Oh! <laughs> Not pickles, Rob! Ick! <gasps> <gasps> what? Not meatballs, mangoes! No, not mangoes, meatballs! Ah! Okay? I'm so hungry. I can barely move. Huh? You should have some Rob surprise. Oh, why not? I'm hungry enough to eat anything right now. Mm -mm -mm. Wow! This is actually really yummy. Why was I so picky? All I needed to do was try it. It's delicious. Really? Oh, I just wish we had more of it so we could enter it in the cook-off. Huh? Ha! Now that's a Rob surprise! This is going to be a great galactic cook-off. And it's one big yummy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Rob's surprise with the food o -matic. Only Emma wouldn't even try it. She tried to make her own meal, 
but we got carried away, and because of us, the machine went haywire. We finally shut it down. By then, Emma was so hungry, she agreed to try my dish, and she liked it. Sometimes it pays to keep an open mind and try new things. What a scrumptiously successful mission. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Galactic Space Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100-meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just gonna stand the rocket and play with my new toy. Oh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Halo Planet. It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for Countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <clears throat> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> Okay.
Emma. You won. Ah, so the long jump isn't your sport. There are still lots left to try. Sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? Oh no! We're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. A string? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. 
Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. Thanks. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, sports planet! Boy, am I glad to see you! <laughs> We've had a hard day cleaning up the rocket, but we're almost done. <laughs> Ooh. TK! You guys okay? I'm fine. Actually, I like this. This is the first break I've had all day. You know what, guys? We've been working really hard. And now look, the rocket's squeaky clean. We're done. Good. Yay! And I have a great idea. We're gonna go on a mission. Wait a minute. Does it involve more cleaning? <laughs> nope. Today, our mission is to have fun. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? Oh. No, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Um, 
I'll wait until you get to the bottom so you can see how good I am at... have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Orbit down? Um, my trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh, uh. Okay, jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Yeah! 
in control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye! Orbit. It's picture day, and we all need to look our very best. Now, where did I put the camera? Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. You found it. I don't know, TK. These ones just don't seem to fit right. Try retracting your antenna a little, like this. Oh, I... but I can't do that. Maya! Oh, I wish my boots could do that. All of you can do these neat things that I can't. <laughs> Skin. See? It's soft and sensitive. She's not made of metal like we are. Hmm. Green skin? No gears? <laughs> Emma, what's wrong? Green skin? No gears? Cries alien tears? I'm not like my robot friends at all. Don't worry, Emma. We can, uh, uh, we can. Can you make me look more like you? Well, uh, I... Maybe we could, uh... Hey, I have an idea. Just play along, okay? That's a great idea, Emma. We could try to find a way to make you look more like us. Really? Absolutely. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. like a robot, so we need to find a place with robot parts. Oh, dress-up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Mm -mm. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
do is find you a robot helmet. Orbit. Orbit. Greasy gears, Orbit. That's awesome. Oh, it's, uh, it's perfect. Whoa. Rob, that's way too heavy for Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. <laughs> okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Wait, being a robot sure is <laughs> fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta -da! So, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's... Whoa! Awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes. Or something. Boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Rob, you're back. So, 
What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us. So we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal, like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Goodbye, Spare Part Planet. You're showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use. And then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? <laughs> painting with a color popper. Yeah, I look silly. We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. That looks like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Mixed up. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Look at that. He's getting more paint. Come on. Let's see if we can get some paint, too. I see how it works. We just need to put the color popper in here. And... Choices left are black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. What do you think? Yeah! <laughs> That's better. Here you go, Emma. <laughs> Fixed! Your turn, Rob. <laughs> this is fun. You give it a try, Orbit. Red or yellow or blue. They're purple. But we don't have any purple paint. Just like we don't have any orange. Ah! Hey, look at this. Huh? Uh oh. This plant should be green, not gray. What do we do? We don't have any green paint either. There's no orange, no purple, no green. The only colors we have are blue and... Wait! You can make green by mixing blue and yellow. Robot and get you fixed up. Wait! What's going on here? We need your help. Our friend Orbit has his colors all mixed up. Uh... <laughs> he looks fine to me. But his head is pink. And his body is green. And his arms are purple. Are they? That's not what I see. Huh? What color am I? Yellow and green and a bit of blue. I can fix that for you if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are. Uh... <laughs> no wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No. That's too small for this job. Well? Hmm. No. Too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! Voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! You really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? 
He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. That's it. I haven't mixed three colors yet. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's mission accomplished. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit, TK, and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Bye. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
everything is origami here. So, where can we start origamiing? Right here. <gasps> Still work. Wait, Emma. I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you done. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hmm. this origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta-da! Cool. <gasps> How come mine didn't look like that? Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. <laughs> Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Origami is too hard. It is hard, Emma. You need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Mayo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Mayo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Hmm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? A spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. <gasps> I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Hold on, Rob. The mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go.
Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. Done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. What's in the bowl? That's my pet fish, Stripey. Ooh, hoo, hoo, it looks so cool. TK, you gotta see this. Ooh. It's Emma's fish, Stripey. Fish! He's so cute. I get it. You named him Stripey because he's got three stripes. One, two, three vertical stripes. Vertical? Vertical means the stripes go up and down. I'd love to float the way he does in the water. I like him! Uh, 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 Stripey's sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No! He can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. Maybe he'd be a good friend for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. <laughs> fish at all.
Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live, and the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge, others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish, and they looked exactly like stripies. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one. painting a picture for us, and he's almost finished. <gasps> What's wrong, Orbit? The flower. Oh, dear. Your flower looks sick. There must be a way I can make it better. I'm sure there is, but how? Oh, we need to go somewhere to make Orbit's flower better so he can finish his painting. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> Pick a planet. Make it better. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Ooh, poor Bobby Planet. Yum, buttery. Smells nice, but I don't think we'll find any flowers there. Mmm. We'll go to Toolbox Planet some other time, TK. Right now, we need flowers, and I don't think we'll get them there. Mm. Now that looks like somewhere we can get help for Orbit Sick Flower. Yes, the flower bed planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop flower bed planet. <laughs> hmm, not much of a flower bed planet. I can't see any flowers anywhere. There must be some around somewhere.
It's okay. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Hi, I'm the gardener. Hi, I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Orbit. Nice to meet you. Why did those bees attack us? I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, those are honeybees, and they need flowers. There used to be flowers here. Flowers make nectar. Nectar is a kind of sweet liquid flowers make for bees. They collect it and use it to make honey. So the bees need every flower they can find. Like my flower. They weren't chasing us. They wanted your flower. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bees. Oh, the poor things. What happened to all the flowers? A while ago, my water sprinkler broke. Without water, the flowers wouldn't grow. So they all vanished. Fix it? I'm sure I've got just the thing to fix it. Hairbrush? Nope. Ooh, I love teas, but that's not going to help. Aha! That's what I was looking for. Some oil from this oil can will get that device moving. Oh, that feels great. That's been stuck for so long. What's he doing? Watering the plants. Once these are watered, and I make sure they get plenty of sunlight, they'll grow into a field of healthy, bright, beautiful flowers. Yay! And then the bees will have nectar to make their honey. There's no need to go frightening everyone like that. Soon this will be a garden full of flowers just for you. These will become flowers? What do they need? Good ground, sunlight, and plenty of fresh water. And now we wait for the flowers to grow. Great. Um, isn't it taking a long time? Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. We won't see anything happen for days, maybe even weeks. Huh? Uh. Well, as the keeper of flower bed planet, I can help that along, but I normally like to wait for it to happen naturally. Hmm. If there's a way you can make the flowers grow faster, I think it would be great. And the bees do look hungry. I wish I had my flower back. If I just watered it and gave it loads of sunlight, maybe it would get better. Where are they off to so quickly? I think I know. My flower! Things in that help flowers grow. The gardener who plants the seeds 
water, sunshine, and the bees. I'd say that's mission accomplished. to give you this. Wow, thanks. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit wanted to paint a picture of a flower but the one he had was droopy and losing its color. So we went to Flower Bed Planet. But when we landed, we couldn't find any flowers, just some angry bees who chased us away. We soon met the gardener, who was broken and couldn't water his plants, so TK helped fix them. He showed us plants and flowers need water and sunlight to grow big, bright, and strong. We also learned that bees do something really special. They take nectar from the flowers and make honey. And Orbit finally finished his painting and even got a pot of honey from the bees. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible-tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? Yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK. But I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur. But I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. OK, then. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Six. Whoa. 
fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> Hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapult! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. Oh, look! He just 
wanted to play. He must have been bored here all alone. That's probably why he was collecting all this stuff. <laughs> Okay, how does it look? Perfect, we're done. Uh-oh, who wants to play with it again? TK, do you have something that would make a good puppy toy? Aha! We should do the job. We solved the mystery, made a new friend, found a dinosaur. Great job, everyone. Looks like that's mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before there were people but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums. So that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Cheer up with a game of catch. Wow, this rainy weather is really getting us all down. We need to go somewhere it's not raining. Somewhere we can play and build things. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Somewhere it's not raining, so we can cheer up and play and build stuff. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Water planet. <laughs> but water planet is still wet, and I think we've had enough water with all this rain. Squeak would like to go to Cheese Planet. Mmm, sounds tasty, but it might be a little stinky. I don't think Cheese Planet is where we need to go. What about this planet? It has cold places and warm places. Oh, look. There's a desert there. Hooray! I like dessert. Not dessert. Desert. A dessert is something you eat. A desert is a place where it almost never rains. You chose weather planet. Great idea. Hooray! Excellent choice. Get ready. Four, countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt!
hot here. Emma, this isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be raining, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. something that can help. Hmm. <gasps> it's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. Better. Not hot at all. to walk on. Snowflakes are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. 
Just keep dancing. Come on, Rocket. You can do it, too. place to play. Not too hot and not too cold. I know. Follow me. This is great. The perfect place to play. And build. And it's not raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> <laughs> Not too warm and not too cool. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains, but the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right, back inside. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. in outer space, and there was a message inside. What does it say? It says, X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. And look, it has a pirate ship drawn on it. Oh, 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 it's a map, it's a map. Ooh, it's not just a map. It's a pirate's treasure map. Signed by Nosebump the Pirate. <gasps> pirate oh, treasure? treasure? I've never gone on a treasure hunt before. <laughs> that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Nothing more exciting than hunting for pirate treasure. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, lunchtime planet. Yum. A healthy lunch is important, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there, TK. Now that looks like a place where we can find pirate treasure. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet. Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Atlanta. for? Oh, I know. Those are the four main directions on a map. N for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. North should always be on the top. The first direction says to go north to Nosebump Ship. But which way is north? <gasps> Look! with directions? Hmm. A compass, yes! It has four main directions, just like a map. North, east, south, and west, right? And a compass's needle always points north towards the North Pole, no matter where you go. See? So if north is that way, east has to be this way. East, here, cave. Giant ear. We found ear cave. And look! It's a picture of a skull and key. Just like the one on the map. On the map. On the map. Ooh, that's so cool. 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 It's our voices bouncing off the walls of the cave. It's called an echo. It's called an echo. Hello. Hello! Tell us where we are. Awesome! Come on, everyone! Oh, oh, oh. It's with 
within our reach. We're heading west to find White Beach. This is as far west as we can go. But there's nothing here. X marks the spot where the treasure's buried. Like treasure. Finally, after all these years, you've helped me find my precious treasure. I buried it for safekeeping, but lost me back. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure. We also made a fun new friend. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to Buccaneer Planet in search of buried treasure. Buccaneer is another word for pirate. Orbit taught us that a map can help you find things. But something making a scary noise found us instead, so we made a run for it. We learned that to read a map properly, you need to know what direction you're going. TK had a compass that showed where north, south, east, and west are. That way, we could follow the clues on the map. In the end, the scary noise was just a friendly robot pirate. He made strange noises because he couldn't find his job. That's what the treasure was. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. It's still a ring ding, TK. Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. 
Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the language planet. wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful! What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes! We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be uh -huh. shelved. Oh dear, it seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on, maybe we can catch up to him. Wait, there's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Yoo-hoo, over here. Jonah! Hmm. Oh, no! Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry. We'll catch him. Right, Emma? Uh, you guys go ahead. We'll clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Jonah, we need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Hmm. Hola! Hello! <gasps> wow! It's a talking book! A Spanish talking book! Neat! What a great way to learn a language! Konnichiwa! Hello! Wow! This one is Japanese! Hmm, I think this one is Alien 101. Zing Zang Zuna, greetings. There sure are a lot of languages! You can say that again! There sure are a lot of languages! <laughs> Sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. <laughs> Not loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Mm. Still not loud 
Aha! Ooh, that's pretty loud. I'll say. Please, you must be quiet in the language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Cool! Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah, you did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. Yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa, that's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, Just in time. Emma's looking after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three, a pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. Ew. Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? Hmm. Hey, that sounds like a 
commission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The Pet Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for a countdown. Must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Oops, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, toy bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. <laughs> Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Doesn't look like the space cat department. This must be for the P O U S S. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! a fish bowl or fish food. Okay. 
is We're still no closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Get out of the way! Ah! Oh! Yikes! We've got to stop this thing. Yes, please. should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there! TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh. Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer. TK, hurry! Aha! This bolt is perfect! <laughs> I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye.
Why don't we have a race and see who should compete? It's the only way to be fair. <laughs> isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. to wait for the start signal. It's okay, Emma. We'll catch them in this. I checked them all, and I'm sure this is the fastest. Orbit, we have tons 
of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning. Or straight? Which way do we go? Buckle up again! We've got to make up for lost time! Emma, you can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it, the end of the race. We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on. Here we go. This is great. We'll win for sure. Uh, okay, what's wrong? a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who is the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye.
instrument. I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's gotta be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo I. I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Monkey spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma, book planet. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet. That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get your something else. for a saxophone in our band?
amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder, like this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Emma, are you okay? That was awesome! Do you think I can play that? Give it a try and see. band? Absolutely! Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Uh, don't be sad, Emma. We'll find your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! Drumsticks. We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you! I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right! Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh, I know something that can help. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go! Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized 
Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Band Planet! <laughs> Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're trying to decide on a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. There's only one more day till it begins. Music. Now that would be a cool dance to learn. Come on, everyone. Give it a try. It's called popping. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, no. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, Orbit. You didn't mean to. But now what will we do? How will we pick a dance routine without music? We need to find music. Um, uh, hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. but we broke our stereo. We need to find a place that plays music so we can learn a dance routine. Oh, I love dancing. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, a pirate planet. A pirate adventure would be exciting, Orbit, but it's not the right place for practicing a dance routine. Oh, I really like playing board games. Board game planet sounds like fun, but I don't think it's the right place to find a music player, TK. What about this planet? It looks and sounds like it might do. You chose music planet, <laughs> the perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. choose from. Emma's right. We'll just keep searching until we find one that suits your cool wheel. But we only have one day to the competition. There's not enough time. Come on, we'll find something we can all dance to. Ooh. 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 Ooh, the macaroni. I love this 
one. And it's simple. Come on, everyone. Get off your seats and try it with us. Ready, everyone? Here we go. Raise your right arm up. Now your left. Right hand on your tummy, and then your left. Right hand behind your head, left hand behind your head. Now, wiggle your body like a noodle. Right hand on your bottom, left hand on your bottom. Swing your hips to the left, then to the right. Yay! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Oh, TK, are you all right? That's it. I quit. I'm terrible. I'll never be able to dance. But TK, we can't enter the competition without you. <sighs> TK, I promise we'll find a dance that's perfect for you. You'll see. Let's try this record player. Hey, check it out. Rock and Robot. trunk we could use? Hmm. Uh, hmm. One little balloon won't be enough to lift you up. Oh. Hmm. Aha! This trampoline would bounce you high enough to reach, but it wouldn't be very safe. Aha! A car jack. It's used for changing flat tires. We can use the jack to lift you up. to choose from. Oh, this one sounds like fun. It's called the Robot Boogie. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we were trying to find a dance for the Intergalactic Space Dance Competition. 
So he traveled to the music planet. There were all sorts of music players, and each one of them played a different style of music. We learned so many cool new dance moves. We needed to find a dance that would work for all of us. We then tried a dance called the macaroni, but without hips, TK couldn't finish some of the moves. She was getting very discouraged. So then we tried dancing to rock and roll. All of us really liked it, but I got a little carried away and hurt my foot. That's when we found an old jukebox. We never gave up, and guess what? We found the perfect dance for all of us, the robot dance. Good mission, Rob. Well done. We'll be just in time for the dance competition. Better buckle up. Five, four, 